Hey there, everybody. Phantom Echo here, and welcome back to another episode of, you guessed it, Cassette Beasts. So let's jump right in. Greetings! My eager assistant, have you recorded our mystery monster? We're looking for a winged rabbit spotted on Autumn Hill. Huh? It was real? I never would have guessed. The Thwackalope, I see. It is curious how our myths and legends appear to influence the appearance of monsters here on New Wirral. Say, could I ask you some questions about your world? from before you came here. I am also trying to catalog the various realities that Harbor Town's residents hail from. Sure. Excellent. I will simply ask a series of questions relating to broad historical events and you can tell me if they seem familiar to you. Question one. Are you familiar with the Roman Empire? Yes. Question two. Did the Industrial Revolution occur in your world's past? Yes. Okay. Question three. Did mankind ever make it to the moon? Yeah, there's a lot of controversy about that one because people say it's faked, but people also say that it actually happened. We're going to go with the hypothetical of nope. Right. Last question. Has the day of the birds happened yet? What? Is he referencing Alfred's... Alfred Hitchcock? Uh, don't worry about that one. In fact, count yourself lucky you don't know what I meant. Thank you. For your assistance once again, take these for your troubles. Fuse material, metal, plastic, and basic tape. Are you ready for another monster assignment? Of course you are! I recently heard Captain Penny Dreadful in here murmuring about a crow with a hood and mask in the Deadlands. If you manage to record one, don't hesitate to let me know. Oh, I know what he's talking about. He's talking about a Nevermore. Greetings! My eager assistant, have you recorded our mystery monster? Remember, we're looking for a crow with a hood and mask spotted in the Deadlands. Here it is. Excellent! Once again, you prove to be a capable researcher. Never mort, is it? Alas, but we have one monster left on my list of pressing investigations. Ianth herself has spoken of a creature that flees if it catches even a glimpse of a human being. It is supposedly a wooden-faced elf in the park. If this sounds like something you'll be able to record, I wish you good fortune. Oh, he's talking about... I I remember what he's talking about. Alright. Oh, oh, almost. Yes, can. Can I hop to here? Yes, I can. Ah! I can hop to there. Oh. oh, ho, ho, ho. There we go. The fusion. You challenge the rogue fusion. Yep. Rogue fusion. Velocity. Okay. Velocity rifle and the other one that I can't remember. No AP for you. Oh. There we go. Okay. Adding RAM. Oop, wrong switch. Ask a rattle. Oh! Hmm. 
já vou. Oh! Uh oh! 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 Oh, Lord. Ah, uh, hmm. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. Alright. I'm gonna have to. Oh, God. Oh, it gets multi. Dang it. No! Maybe down for you. Ah, uh, hmm. Yeah, this might work. If I can hit it twice, it'd be good. Oh, thank God, I have a lot of HP. <laughs> Evasion? Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Ha! Squirey, that's it. I got a sneak spore. Oh, yeah. Nice. Hmm. Let's go for it. Oh. Characters with mind meld share their moves with allies. Ooh, I like that. Heal. Owie. Oh. Ah. No. Ah. He gets. Bring him back. Oh, because he doesn't have that. I'm like, wait a minute. Smack him. Oh, this is bad. So it just raises defense every time. Not really defense, but evasion. Hmm. Double smack. Ah. There we go. Oh. Holy. 
Okay. Ah! Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, the fusion was causing that. Okay. This looks vaguely familiar. Oh. What's in here? Oh! Giga Musketeer. Okay. Let's go for it. Ow! Be smack. I'm go toy hammer again. Ah! There we go. Ah, it was two musketeers. Okay. Oh yeah. Retribution. Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. Try recording. Recording! Oh! Heavy hit. Oh! Didn't change the fact that we got him. All right. Ooh. Musketeers can often be found sharpening their swords on stones in the underground caves where they dwell. It is not uncommon to find them dueling any squires that happen to cross their paths. Okay. Let's put the storage. Hmm. Ooh. Fuse material, surefire, guarantees the next target. Move, won't miss. Very high chance of recording metal type monsters. Nice. Or as Eugene would say, momentous. What the? You were in the cave the whole time. Oh my god. Alright, well, uh. This is going to be a little bit of a sticky wicket. Let's try this. See what happens. Okay. Try recording with this. Wait, your ice. Oh. Very high efficiency to record ice type monsters. Let's do it. And multi smack. Ooh. Ow. There we go. In order to hide their true emotions. Elfless fashion crude smiling masks out of tree bark. Unsubstantiated rumors claim that there is one day a year where all the elfless will assemble together to replace their old masks with new ones. Oh wow, all around. Hundred everything. Ooh. All right. There we go. Takes care of that quest. Preemptive strike. At you. What are you? Boltam and Allseer. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. Okay. 
Oh, okay. Some electric types, so let's try superconductive. And multi -spin. Electric feel. Wait, what? Metal heads of the bolt hems are extremely conductive, and they passively absorb electric currents from the atmosphere. Bolt hems are able to channel this energy into a magnetic field, which they can use to travel across land and air with ease. Hmm. Okay. You can now hold the right button to interact with magnetic objects. Consumes stamina. Bolt hems put the store. So I've gained the power of magnetism. Okay. So I wonder if that means that. Uh, hmm. No. Might be something. Let's see, it grabs us. Here it is. And then this. So it should be this button. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Preemptive stripe, faux fur tape, and metal. So I can literally channel. And that. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So I need. Whoa, 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 whoa. Crazy man. Crazy. Crazy! Oh, get away! Go away! Go away! Ah, he's still following me! What the heck? Oh! Oh my god! Never had the bull attempts be angry with you. Oh no, not again. Like, ah! What? Flapwoods. What are you? Where are the bolts in first? Oh, pseudo. There we go. Okay, so... Sharpen. I don't know how much HP it has, so we'll just do toy hammer. That's kind of why. So you're a... You're a wind type. Yep, this one. Now we can all the snack. Oh! That's okay, we'll fix that. There we go. Flapwoods. The flapwoods billowing cloak-like body gives it the appearance of a rag, suspended in the air on a gust of wind. It is generally agreed that its vacant yellow-eyed stare is extremely unnerving. Oh wow, that was a lot. Okay. Flapwoods was put in storage. Okay, we have two that we can remaster. Let's remaster Masquerade. Oh! Uh. Hmm. That's a tough choice. I guess Ruthless? Okay, there's Yorman Gold. Curiously, the Yorman Gold's wings aren't actually capable of making the huge serpent airborne. Instead, they help it slither along the ground at great speeds, each wing beat sending the beast hurt hurtling forwards. Okay, now we can remaster Huntorch. Oh, what the heck are you? Hedgehorn. 
The Hedge Heron is a master hunter, and will relentlessly track down any target they deem a worthy chase. The horns they wield are constantly burning, and they have been known to burn down entire forests in aid of concerning their quarry. Is this so, then that would be pretty interesting. Okay, how do I get to you? Is there any way for me to eat it? Squarey, don't even think about it. Don't you think about it. Ah! Oh, there's a second area to this. I never saw this. I didn't see this before. What is this? Ah, uh, I don't want to go there. Okay. Don't mind me, Squarey. Going up here. Probably go up there. Another. Okay. Let me go over here. No! I overshot it. There we go. Oh! Elemental coating and ceramic tape. Okay. No! Aw. Bus left without me. Oh, there we go. Okay. We're up here now. Looks like there's another thing over here. Oh! That's what happened to them. Okay. Hey, you there! These monsters have me cornered. Would you give me a hand here? Oh, of course. <laughs> they fused! Help! Hyper for Southfall. Oh. Uh... Well, I might be a little overpowered for this. Um. Oh, never mind. He, uh. He kinda tanky. Smack the razor. Still does decent damage for a fusion. Battering ram. And we'll just do smack. Ooh. There we go. Hey. So. In theory, you could actually get a south call early on. If I'm thinking about this right. Oh my god, I keep picking the wrong one. There. Oh, they're still tanky though. Wow. Rapid fire, deja vu. <sighs> Thanks for that. I came in here looking for some sticker ideas, but I ended up getting more than I bargained for. Hmm. Say, did you notice Southpaw's move, Magnet, activates automatically at the start of battle? I think I got my inspiration after all. Come see me at the market back in town. I'll have some special stickers for you. A little inspiration complete. There you go, she's gone. It turns into... 
Oh, you're Galagor. Okay. A starter gray that has evolved super intelligence. Its outer armor almost entirely covers its pink worm-like core, which is partially visible through the glass dome on its helmet. Huh. That's pretty cool. Oh. I'm telling you, boss. Something has shifted on the astral plane lately. All the ghosts are talking about it. There's some big players back on the board, they're saying. Uh -huh. All the ghosts? Yeah. Of course. There's all sorts of spirits. Shades and tulpas hanging around out on the astral plane. Where do you think I'll get my best intel from? <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Hey. Hey, something on your mind? Uh... No, just saying hi. Greetings! My eager assistant, have you recorded our mystery monster? We're looking for... Ah, yes. A wooden-faced elf spotted in the park. Oh. Oh, you managed to record it. The elfless, eh? What could the significance of this be? Perhaps there is some deep psychic connection between how human beings preserve, perceive faces and how these monsters manifest into beings. It could also simply be that these masks look rather cool. I must congratulate you on your abilities. Why, at this rate, I feel like I am the assistant and you are the scientist. The truth is... I'm not actually a professor or a scientist. Before I washed ashore on New World, I was a corporate salary man. I am less a patron of science and more a patron of science fiction. Even still, I must remain rational. Coming here has given my life a new purpose. I may not be a real professor, but I believe my efforts here can still be valuable. Thank you! For your unrelenting assistance to the scientific cause, my friend, you set an example for all of us. Quest complete on the hunt. If you ever want to help my cataloging further, come chat with me again. There'll always be something new to investigate. Greetings! How many different species have you recorded out there? Goodness gracious! 37! Thank you! Here's some compensation for your time. Oh, wow. Okay, so... Yeah, anytime we do this... 15 fused material! Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, so... Come chat with me again when you reach 40. Don't forget to remaster your tapes when they reach 5 stars. I've heard a handful of species that can only be obtained that way. Oh, okay, there's the fusion. So, let's do this. Go for it. Old foe. Suit up and toy hammer.
Dang it. No. No healing for him. Uh-uh. Ow! Ooh, okay. No more bush eye. Right? There we go, you're split. Oh! Huh. Okay. There we go. Whew, okay. Hmm. More actual base, so uh, we'll do that. Okay. Oh, dead. Whew, okay. Good job. Oh, I could pull myself up that way. I did not know that. Hey! What? Hey! You! Are you trying to sneak past me? I'm here for your benefit, you know. Monsters past here won't hesitate to put you in the hospital. If you're certain you're ready for them, show me your moves. Wait, what? Oh. Well, it's already one, huh? Alright. Sorry. You see me like you know what you're doing. Right ahead. Something new. Yeah. Oh man, the monsters seem too tough for us right now. Wait, are you? Oh, he's so cute. He's a friendly dog. After extending your hand to let the dog sniff you, you check his collar. Dog's name is Barkley. There's a miniature tape recorder attached to his collar. There's no information about his owner here, other than a 22-digit telephone number. Barkley must be stuck in New Wirral, too. Aww. Barkley is looking up the cliff and whining. He must want to go up. He won't move from the spot. Perhaps if he had some way to take him up the cliff. Hmm, okay. I'll have to figure out how to do that. I think it's... It must be like rock climbing or something. About to come back for that. I did not mean to get caught. What? Okay. Oh, okay. What is really paying? Really paid. 
tadpole's mature state. The frilly pad's limbs allow it to hunt for food. It can often be found hiding by the edges of ponds and lakes. If someone or something passes by that frilly pad deems edible, it will attempt to ensnare it with its long tongue. Ooh. There we go. Okay. So we can't get there. There's a cave. Oh. Oh, why did I figure it wouldn't be something? What? You're a manic? Oh, okay. Uh, hmm. Sit up. Raise arms. Ow! Oof. Okay. Not going down well. What? Ah! Okay. Oh, I'm on a wall. Multi smack. Ooh, there we go. Almost. Mothmanic? What are you? Uh, battering ram. Toy hammer. There we go. Okay, I see how this is. Recording. Ooh. Oh. All right. Lost manic. The Mothmanic's whole body surges with pow- The Mothmanic's whole body surges with powerful currents of electricity. It can wield this power offensively and is able to dispense devastating bolts of lightning towards its targets with a beat of its wings. Oh wow. Okay. Ooh. Superheated fist. It's one target. Oh, hurricane. Okay. Nice. Twirly gig. Okay.
Oh. Hmm. Because it's a wooden dummy. Splinters. Oh my god. Okay. Um. I don't know what to do in this case. Nice new score. That splinter is going to be a pain. Um, well, I can give it another burn. Let's just try it. Summon Tulpa. Be funny if it works. Wakey, wakey. Okay. So... Hmm. We'll switch. And we'll record this time. You're plant-based? So... Tree bark. Here we go. Gig. Toilet gigs were once clearly made target practice dummies, but have since gained sentience through unknown means. Lacking any complex limbs, they are forced to move and attack by pivoting on the wood wooden stakes that run through their bodies. Huh. Okay. Oh. Multi-shot. I think I'm going to leave this episode here. So thank you everybody for tuning in. If you like the content, be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, this has been Phantom Echo signing off. Take care and stay safe everybody until the next episode of Cassette Beasts.